Hey everyone, this is David McBee with the Twin Lakes Sports Network. I'm joined by a Cotter legend, the one and only Jared Wilhite. You're a legend because I've been seeing these shirts with your, your face all over yeah, Cotter. Shirt. Yes, the infamous shirt. Yeah, that was a prank they did that for Ugly Sweater Day, of all things, yep. Um, which I showed up at school and saw that and I thought, that's a cool George Costanza shirt. And then I was like, wait, that's me, because I saw like the little chin thing. But yeah, that was a prank the senior girls played on me. So yeah, that was a good one. Well, of course, you know, you're the senior girls coach uh, for the Cotter Warriors. Kind of tell us, uh, you know, season's getting ready to start pretty soon. You know, what's this season probably going to look like? Uh, Because you lost some seniors last year that were very pivotal to your success. Yeah, that's true. Graduated all five starters, which is always tough. Um, But we did. We played over the summer, um, went to Harding, went to Viola, and we looked pretty good. I mean, we won. I think we were over 500 at Harding, which you're playing bigger schools down there at Harding. Um, I've got some girls that are hungry to play, and then some 10th graders that will come up and help us a lot. Um, I think our death will be very, very good, but, you know, it's hard replacing five starters that, you know, ate a lot of our key minutes up. And, of course, you know, we're at Cotter right now because there's actually a basketball camp going on today. Uh, and we actually got a couple former Razorbacks here today. Mm-hmm. One of them that I was in school when Ronnie Burr played, I was in school there cheering for him, which it was weird. I pulled out the poster. I found it in my garage from 06. I'm like, awesome, I'm going to get him to sign that. So got that signed. And then I was showing some of the girls. And, you know, of course, one of the kids is like, I wasn't even born then. I'm like, well, I was in college and you weren't even born. But, just, but it's neat that they're here doing this camp, so. Well, I know the kids are really excited. It's not every day you have a camp where you're going to have two former Razorbacks coming in and mm-hmm. teaching you some of the skills. And I know you've always been a big Razorback fan. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, the uh, Razorback team football season is getting ready to start. What do you think uh, the new coach over there? I'm excited. Me and uh, Coach Jefferson have had conversations. You know, we both said if we don't win double digits, something's wrong. So, I mean, we're but our expectations are here. Um, realistically, hopefully six wins. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited for the new year. Hopefully he's similar to Petrino, opens up the offense, and, and we score a lot of points and are fun to watch. So. Well, what about uh, Razorback basketball? Hoping. Uh, I, was, I was thinking, who is the, the, the kid that come back? Um, uh, Gafford? Gafford. I'm having him back. I think it'll be huge. Um I don't really know what we'll have around him, though. But hopefully it'll be fun to watch. Well, I know you're always a big supporter, uh, you know, being that you went to the University of Arkansas. So, uh, you know, with uh, this is uh, – is this your second year or third year uh, coaching over in high school? Second year second since year. I've come back. Yes, yeah, second year here. So, so um, what's it like for you to be back at your alma mater – you know, coaching now at the high school level. It's real. I mean, it's 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 cool. It's it's kind of weird because it's one of those. I mean, you know, now I'm coaching kids that I went to school with their parents and everything. I mean, it's, so it's really. I mean, it's neat um, being here where I played and you got so many memories from playing and now I'm building memories as a coach. Um, it, I mean, it's really awesome. And then you know, the national anthem. We have Dave Pittman that does our national anthem, and I went to school and graduated with Dave. I mean, it, it's just it's really neat and really cool. So I like it. So. Well, Coach, I know you're really busy. Uh, we're going to catch you before the season starts where we'll probably do a season preview, and we're looking forward to maybe even coming over and covering a couple games later this year. So, uh, Coach Wilhite, man, uh, I can tell you my son really enjoyed playing from you back when you were junior high uh, coach, and uh, look forward to seeing nothing but success from you guys, and keep up the great work, man. Sounds good. Thank you. We'll be right back here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network.